Libra, how are you doing? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading game from the 24th to the 30th of July. I hope you're lovely at the moment and having a lovely time. You're actually into your autumn period now, so you may have ideas that come into the surface that help you to sort of adjust about what you've been um, doing over the past year, what was a success and what was a failure, what you want to do differently in the coming year. Um, so that may be a little bit that comes up in the surface at the moment. If you're looking to start something, mm, probably the next couple of months just to your birthday is not the most perfect timing. If your birthday is the end of Libra, yes, I would still say it's okay. If it's right at the beginning of Libra, uh, I'd think twice before you do it. Uh, and you may need to sort of wait till the energy is right for you. Uh, let's just get on with this full reading. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you have a lovely reading. Overall energy, bah, this is something to do with the air signs. There's, okay, I'm going to give you the same message here because I think this is totally true. You know, the nine of wands is healthy boundaries. And the universe is sort of saying to you, you've been to... You've been through this past year uh, knowing your healthy boundaries, knowing what worked and what didn't work. That is what your healthy boundaries are. The problem is, is if you're not going to go forward in your life, if you're not going to advance in your life, if you're going to stay in the same thing, that night, those healthy boundaries will end up seem like a prison for you. So that's why that person there has that one there and is heading off into the future. So using these healthy boundaries in a way to stop you from going backwards and help you to go forwards, basically, where you can avoid the pitfalls of the past. In your relationship side, you have the chariot. I think you need to move. I think this is where um, there's a lot of movement. Well... Maybe not necessarily a lot of movement. It's it, The karmic message here is asking you to move. If you're waiting around for it to happen, that's when you're going to feel like you're going to be imprisoned. If you, if you do not, this is your karmic message. This is your karmic path. It's asking, it's saying to you, you've got to move on quickly. You've got to go forward. You've got to go towards your victories. Go head towards what makes you feel good, which makes you kind of go, hmm... CC factory about it all and I think this is you know your karmic mission here is in regards to your relationships is don't hold back go forward go for it go for it um the universe here is sort of saying whichever way you go whichever if you just go for it the universe here is going to give you a pass they're going to help you out they're going to give you to get you to calm assures um so I, I I think you risk very little by throwing caution to the wind basically, which is not really a Libran thing. But I think this is, sometimes it's got to be done. It's that last flurry, that last flurry of sunshine in, in the summer before autumn kicks in because you're moving into your autumn period. You're really fully moving into your autumn period. And so, I, you know, if you, if you want to move forward in your relationships, this is the moment to do that. Your guides that are connecting to your past or your future i think this is where you know leave the past go to the future understand that in the past yes you might be right about certain things in the past you might be wrong about certain things in the past and it may have made you feel that you've been hard done by but at the same time if you're just going to sit in that hard done by and not advance with your ace of cups with your heart then that nine of wands is going to seem like a, a prison for you. I think it's moving on and it's moving on quickly. I don't think you have that much of a choice about it. I think you've really got to get involved with the direction that you are taking with your relationships around you. And this could be a one-to-one -one relationship as much as it could be family, friends, community and stuff like that. Yeah, you've got the six of uh, pentacles. I think this comes from that four of cups. And it is part of those healthy boundaries. Yes, there's no point. I'm not saying here is uh, go um, running off in a direction um, and just, uh, you know, uh, you know, be at the mercy of everybody else. That's not what I mean. It's almost saying caution to the wind to your heart, you know, um, and just allowing your heart to be free. Um, but in order to do this, and I think this is where your guides are coming in in a really nice way in the future self, it's sort of saying it's got to work for me. And that's what you should be running towards, running towards something that makes you happy, because ultimately then you can then share that happiness with people around you. But the 
um, the fundamental thing about this chariot card of where you're going and heading off quite quickly is running towards your happiness. What you consider you makes you happy. Happiness is a long term thing. Joy is an instantaneous thing. And I think this is coming out of maybe feeling that sensation of the hard done by in the past. I think you now need to move towards and quickly towards um, where it's you are benefiting from the happiness and the joy. And the moment you start doing that, you are going to get success within your relationships. You're going to get recognition by the people that are around you. It's something that it's building up. It's almost, it's like, I think this is a lesson you've learned already. And it's something about, um, about if you respect yourself, then others will respect you. And I think this is the accumulation of that understanding this week here. And it comes out of it making you feel utterly, I'm, yes, I'm winning. I'm the king of the castle, you know, or um, I'm the belle of the ball or whatever. You know, it's and because you've created it for you. So uh, you may have been really disappointed within your relationships, but this is a very personal thing. This is not about other people. This is about you, this this whole sort of relationship. There's nothing here to sort of, there's no two of cups. There's no, um, there's no ace of cups. There's no um, sort of queen of wands. There's, there's nothing to sort of instigate with the outside world in a way. It's an instigation with yourself. And I think that six of wands is a feeling that you have succeeded within you. And you are now being the best version of you. And blow those people that, you know, may have, you may have felt hard done by, just blow them. They're not important. If they really are looking to do you wrong, if they're really looking to do you wrong, you do not need them in your life. You know, just be sure that they are really trying to do you wrong. And if they're not, then, you know, maybe that's a case there where you should get off your backside, stop sulking, and actually make yourself happy. I think that's what it comes out like, you know. <laughs> Um, Libra. Uh, so yeah, I've got a lot of Librans in my life. So, uh, you know, and I love them all very dearly. Um, yeah. And I wish the best for them, obviously. Uh, on your relation, on your financial side, you get the page of pentacles. I think this is a case of, uh, you've started a journey. You're opening up that journey in regards to your career in regards to your business, your projects, or whatever you're going down, you've opened this up, and it's now learning about the medium-term plan. It's learning about sticking to the plan. It's about um, following a process. It's about, um, you know, going from A to B to C to Z, sort of thing, and getting that abundance within your life. Yeah, the universe here is is offering a new an opportunity for, this could be a pay rise, but this could also be um, a promotion or a, a new business or something like that. That's what they're bringing in or helping you work towards. It's definitely moving up to something that is bringing into unison you and your career path, your job, your business and your project. The universe is trying to encourage that within you and learning about going to the end, getting it through, as it were. Um, yeah, this is really so much more beautiful than the relationship side. Sorry to say that, but it seems like that way. Um, you know, from your past, you've been heading to, you've, you've, you've seized upon that dream and that aspirations within your past. You know within you what you want in the way of regards to work and on how you want it. Uh, you know, what sort of business you really want to be doing, that sort of thing. It's something to do with a dream uh, in the past that you so wanted in the past. And it could be a case of bringing that unification. It could be unifying dreams of the past for something in the future. And you get the Page of Swords. Yeah, there's only two in the moment, but I thought there was another one. Um, a Page of Swords. This is beautiful energy for the Libra. This is opening that path. So knowing that physical path of going from that cycle uh, with the Page of Pentacles there. Uh, planting a seed, watching the seed plant, the grow, germinate, grow the fruit, 
get the fruit, harvest the fruit, make the jam and eat the jam. It's it's a long cycle. It's a long to medium term cycle. And this is stimulating you. This is going to stimulate you. If you stick to this and start seeing the results and start seeing that you're heading forward, I think it's going to provide a lot of ideas and the possibilities for your going future. It's going to open up a lot of possibilities or doors for you, as it were. Let's just see what the overall outcome is for you at the end. The Knight of Wands, a lot of celebrations, a lot of passions, and, and yeah, so um, securing that path that you are opening at the moment with your passions about what you're doing. And it will bring you ultimately very good success and notification, you know, uh, you know, uh, notoriety with the people that are around you uh, and being passionate about it. A lot of connection with other people as well, I think, uh, is tied into that, which I think will stimulate you even more. Thank you very much for your support in whichever way you give this channel. Um, you'll find links in the description below where I do private readings and also healing sessions. Uh, there's also an email there because I'm going to be uh, offering workshops in the UK in September, October uh, for energy courses, how to connect to energy and also chakras and auras uh, and uh, connecting to that. Uh, and also about the Astro Flower. Um, I will also be looking to go to the US to be doing some workshops in November in the US and also in Australia. Uh, if you uh, want to go on any of these courses, please do send me an email with uh, with the email in the description and just tell me what is you're interested in and um, you know where you are in the world. So I can then just work out the numbers and see if it's feasible to, to travel around. Okay, but thank you very much for being here. Let's just do a bit of clarification on all of this. Nine of... Um, Wands is the three of uh, pentacles. Yeah, I think you've done the good year. I think you've got, you've had a good year um, leading up to this autumn period. I think you've done some very good quality work on every aspect, on your relationship side as much as in your, on your financial side. And that's possibly what's bringing in those, those healthy boundaries. Because you're sort of saying, I've done the work and I don't particularly want to go degrade myself. That's what I get a feeling out of it. The chariot cards, there is offerings of love. If you, I think you have to offer, the, I'm getting back to this. I think you've got to go towards this and you've got to make this offering. Um, I, yeah, I, you know, I think it's, it's because it's your karmic path. It's not on the exterior. It's within you, not within the exterior. Um, and so, yeah, I think if you're thinking about someone and if you want to say something, say it don't don't beat around the bush don't be sort of like oh I'll say this but not all of it no say it go for it really go for it um with the um six of swords they're taking you away from disappointing past i think the universe here uh encouraging you to go forward in your in your relationship life uh walking away from any disappointments that you have in the past and going up to very much calmer shores you know, this is like the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups is like the Hermit in a way, but it's like the Junior. It's the Hermit at the beginning of the journey, you know, the Four of Cups. It's learning about the shortfallings of the worlds outside, shortfallings within you, and the Hermit is, I've got the card the wrong way around, the Hermit <coughs> has got to the mountain and has gathered that star in. And that's where you should be heading. And that's what your guides are trying to encourage you to realize that this is not the destination. That is not the destination. That is just a step on the way of going up those stairwells in order to get to you, your ultimate dreams and aspirations. So what's this six of pentacles all about you making sure you're happy and then it works for you, which is really, really important. What's that all about? Your six of wands. This is what's leading to that. That's two sixes you've got in there now. Uh, six of wands and the six of cups. Uh, six of pentacles there. Um, and you've got the six of swords here. It's just go, go, go. Don't stop, don't stop. Do it, do it, do it. You know, uh, you cannot do wrong. I, You know, you. it may be scary. It may be very scary. It's like going up to a really high diving board and kind of going, oh, oh, oh. But when you do it, you're going to have such good confidence within you. With the six of wands, that is what's coming to an end. What did I say about the um, what did I say about the nine of wands? You're, this is what you're avoiding if you're doing it. 
this could be your prison. You know, those healthy boundaries could stop you from doing so much that eventually you just go into this nightmare repetitive thing. Once you get into this empowerment of yourself and therefore empowerment of being able to say to someone, yes, I do actually love you. You know, it's difficult and or asking someone out. It's difficult. I know it's a bit scary, but it will break that spell and will give you ultimate success within your relationships. And, you know, I think you've got to go towards it. The chariot and the king of cups. There's no other way around it. <laughs> I don't think it's going to come. You know, it's the only way it's going to arrive is it's going to arrive with you. With the page of pentacles, you get the lovers. I think this ties into that star and that knight of wands. I think you get into a situation where in your career path where you're really falling in love with what you're doing and really enjoying it. It's almost marriage to your work as well. Um, that's a really beautiful thing. Let's just see what we got. We've got the chariot card here. Everything's moving in very quickly. As I say, you're, you, you know, you're moving into your autumn period. This is where all the fruits are ready. You know, the fruits are really ready at September, October. This is when, um, you know, that's, that's just as autumn sort of starting and your autumn is just sort of starting in a way. You've still got another couple of months on it. Um, and because it's it's starting there's a lot of things that are coming in at once for you at the moment and you can capitalize on it without having to start a lot of things with the uh star card you get the ace of pentacles yeah ultimately um opportunities coming your way uh possibilities the dreams and aspirations that come to you as a gift out of life um yes and it's coming from your past there's something coming from your past that you dreamt about that you would love to do that's coming back on the surface that you should be really taking with the page of swords you get the ace of swords this is knockout this is really knockout libra it, just do it this is a really vibrant energy you've got some really good energy coming through with the opening of that pathway with the page of swords exploring lots of ideas and how to convert those ideas into reality you're going to feel like you're winning life. You're winning at every step as you go forward. And it's going to stimulate you and give you that sort of sense of knowing how to go forward and where to take your life. With the Knight of Wands, I think this is this changing period that's coming up, which I did in the Game Changer Energy as well. This is what's set up within you. And this is what is going to, you're going to dispel. You're going to dispel that idea of not moving forward within your career path. And it's going to be very, very passionate going forward. Uh, but you don't have to actually start anything per se. It's coming into you if you engage in it. That's what it seems like. Uh, there you go, Libra. Thank you very much for being here, showing your support in ever which way you wish to show your support. Thank you. Um, don't forget about those links I talked about in the description below. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.